all eyes closed. Within the next few minutes, about 21 transactions will take place. And as many people as are ready to cry out like blind Bartimaeus, will benefit from those transactions. As you pray these prayers, focus your mind on heaven. You might have been passing through one or two other, one or two other things that are bothering you. But put that aside now. Call on him who has the everlasting word. Call on him whose word has the overruling power. Doctors might have said something. The lawyer must have said something. Conspirators must have said something. Your haters must have said something. But there is a voice in heaven that has an overruling power. His voice is the eternal voice. His power goes from country to country, from continent to continent, from village to village. His power is the imperial power. His power is the power that no man can contest with. Call on those power, the power of God now, that power that can disgrace any power. Call upon him with this prayers I want you to pray now and we have a few minutes to pray them but each of those prayers carry a transaction destiny changing transactions Pass! that want me to die in battle you are alive in the name of Jesus I shall not die in battle. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person in this service and you receive an actual phone call from a witch doctor, a native doctor called you that your case has been brought here. Please run quickly to this altar and be on your knees as you pray these prayers. Can you shout this loud and clear? To erase insult. Can you shout this loud? Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are in this service this morning, my brother, my sister, and you are not married yet can you shout a loud hallelujah let your hallelujah be louder it is only those two groups of people i want to pray this prayer now although as a parent you can pray it you can stand in gap for your own children there is a purpose for this prayer this morning Brothers and sisters say, I'm oh, not married yet. <laughs> if you are a woman, you will say, any power 
preparing the wrong man for me to marry if you are a man you say any power preparing the wrong woman for me to marry die by fire uh, those people ready to pray now let your prayer roar like thunder any power preparing the wrong man for me to marry in the name of Jesus I said, sister, I need to pray this prayer loud and clear. But set a likayabo shendera bo sanda. Naribo sopoli katende kaya bo shendera ba. Aha, aha. A transaction is taking place. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you for praying that prayer. Power, Praying and fasting to see my hand. Can you say that loud? Lion of Judah! Waste them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, it is written that we will lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let your power fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let his hands break yokes. Let it destroy multiple curses. Let it send back to the sender every arrow of darkness. Let it destroy every bewitchment. Let it break every curse of infirmity and affliction. In the name of Jesus. Your word says. Affliction shall be far away from your people. Oppression shall be far away from your people. Every spirit of oppression. Wherever you are hiding. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, or you are not feeling okay in any part of your body, smite it 21 times, shouting, Go back to your senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Begin to check your body now. That's right. 
the witchcraft sponsored infirmity in the eyes in the womb in the backbone and that right leg is going back to the senders check your body very well do what you could not do before you got here the spirit behind the migraine the spirit behind the shortness of breath is going right back to the center you the spirit of death and hell in the head in the chest in the womb lose your hood 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 in the name of jesus check your body now check your body very well if you find that you brought a situation here you brought the sickness it has disappeared find a way to this hotel very quickly don't let the devil put it back on you just find a way here very quickly the lord is touching one woman over there you find it unbelievable but it has happened check your body very well don't hide so that the devil will not put it back the power that does not want you to sing your song and dance your dance we bury them this morning in the name of jesus now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder say my greatness hidden in the belly of the coven sir jump out my fire in the name of jesus Something is happening over there. Jesus name we pray something is about to be taken out of the womb of one woman it's been troubling you but there's an angel by your side I'm going to count seven from here just smite that womb aggressively and then check back what the enemy has put there whether he's still there the doctor has said there's a problem in the womb get yourself ready now when i can't begin to smite it one do it well one two three four five six seven Check that your womb now. Once you find that what's there has disappeared, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back at all. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Arrows from witchcraft birds. This is a very serious prayer. Can I hear you shouting it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire! In the name of Jesus.
command their arrows to backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say serpents and scorpions. Hanging around my glory. Is that the loudest you can shout? Is somebody needs to shout this loud? You are alive in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray one hand on the head the second hand on your belly button something is about to happen your head is a symbol of your destiny that your belly button place it's a symbol of your inheritance you are going to shout this loud and clear now foundational powers say i will not go far your time is up in the name of jesus This is not a money to negotiate. Masa teli katela kaya baribo soponde kaya bo shente la bo santa. In Jesus' name we pray. Stand up, please. Rise to your feet, beloved. Lay your right hand upon the left hand and issue these commands on your hands my heart hear the word of the Lord prosper by fire in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray three prayers before you sit down Jesus confronted the fig tree and he issued the curse of God upon the tree we are also allowed to issue the curse of God upon anything growing in our life that we don't want this is why I want you to pray this three prayers seriously you may say I've prayed it before but pray it under the anointing of today here every tree not planted by the father in my life dry up down in the name of Jesus every tree not planted
wanted by the Father into my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray say whoa unto any satanic vessel assigned to attack me can you shout the word let me hear you Shout it again loud and clear. Whoa! Unto any satanic vessel. As in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, sir. Defiling me in the dream. Can you shout it loud? You are Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray father we thank you for this morning thank you for your grace upon your people accept our thanks in the name of jesus father lay your hands upon everyone present here and make our lives a blessing thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray before you sit down you need to walk up to seven people i said my friend you shall sing your song and dance your dance in the name of jesus say it to seven people you shall sing your song and dance your dance Amen. Amen. Go to seven more people. Say, my friend, Amen. any power that wants you to die Amen. shall replace you in the grave. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave. Amen. Have yourself a few minutes. God bless you. Some time ago, we began to look at the school of winners the school of winners as many people as are here this morning and you love to be a winner can you raise up your right hand 
and shout louder than anyone around you anointing of the winner my life is available come upon me now in the name of jesus And when we started this series, we began to read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. On to that passage, we turn again now. The school of winners. Deuteronomy 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee head and not the tail. It's a categorical statement. It didn't say may. The Lord shall make thee head and not the tail. And thou shall be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them and that day I began to explain to you and the school of life that those three departments the head the tail and a dangerous level at the middle called the average not going up not going down arrange for the front but it stays in the center it's the spirit of the average, the spirit of the middle. The head has few occupants. Below has large multitude of occupants. But the largest percentage is those in the middle who are always not there neither hot nor cold neither black nor white just enough to get by the enemy has subjected them to a third class life I described that to you when we started and then we began to look instructions for those who want to belong to the school of winners and the first point we dealt with that day is that to be a winner you must first of all become a friend of god find god if you don't find god you find nothing you must find God it's important you find God at my last meeting at the youth church I was speaking to them about having a divine encounter a divine encounter rewrites your story you see God no one who has a divine encounter will not live a different life from those who did not have this is a very very serious matter I was a small boy but I loved God loved God so much those days 
when I'm coming to church, I have my paper, my pen, my Bible, and a small cassette player, which they used to sell for 200 naira in those days. We had to save and save and save to get that. So I come to the service hammed with those three things. My Bible, my writing materials, my cassette tape. So what I could not write very well, I'll go and listen to it back at home. Then one day, they brought this Ghanaian evangelist to our church. It was not our usual kind of preacher. He only came for a few days. Revival. And he began to preach. And the way he preaches his own sermon, but he doesn't say on the pulpit like I'm staying now. He keeps walking up around us keeps walking around us and, and he began to talk about divine manifestation he began to talk about the appearance of God he began to tell us that day that if God appears in your home your home will change if God appears in the life of a sinner a sinner encounters God or God encounters the sinner that your life will change he began to tell us this and then he said we should start praying his words sank into my spirit as a little boy I was not even the university then they call the prayers if anybody can measure the volume of the voices of people praying that day <laughs> my voice was definitely out of control the loudest loudest I started praying then this man Left, left the pulpit again went straight to me alone laid hands on my head and began to pray he began to professor I was the only person he prayed for in that large meeting I did not know how I got home it was as if as I was walking on air I did not feel like talking to anybody I just felt like locking myself up totally and just keep praying non-stop I had a divine encounter you need a divine encounter <laughs> you need to know God all men in the Bible that we are reading about today we are reading about them because they had a divine encounter they met God and when we say divine encounter we don't not something theoretical it's not theory it's physical, physical. it's something you experience it's an experience it's an experience and that's why your first step in the school of success is find God if you don't find God you find nothing as a young man if you want your life to be sweet and you don't want to be repeating mistakes repeating errors find God very early that's what the Bible says 
Remember the Lord thy God in the days of thy youth. Then you will not do trial and error. 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 Which most people are doing now. You must find God. You must have that divine encounter. You must be able to say, Oh Lord, I have heard of thee by the hearing of my ear. So, but now, my eye see thee. I remember, God took me to heaven. Even as a little boy. Because of the encounter. Beloved, <laughs> there is no beauty in this place. None. There is no music here. None. You should hear the music over there. I got there. I was swept away. I may forget most of many, many of the things that I saw that day. But one thing I will never forget is the joy on the faces of those who are in paradise. It's a joy, that's what the Bible calls unspeakable joy. You can't describe it. Right there. I wanted to get inside. I was an angel by the door. He said no. Not yet. You can't come here now. You have work to do. Go back. When I open my eyes, and I saw myself back. I was so sad. They want to come back. And I understood what happened to that our daddy in the Lord. Who died at the age of almost 90 something. We didn't want him to die. Because he was extremely useful to us. Here is a man who will pray for everybody in the morning. So today. This is what you are going to meet at the place of work. Today, this is what's going to happen. Today, what's going to happen? Today, so so person will annoy you. Don't respond. So we we, we loved him. When he died, you said, I know. No, no, you can't go like that. <laughs> so we all gathered. We we'll remove our shirt. Wearing only short knickers. We started prayer. You cannot go. Come back. Oh Lord, send him back. 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 Six hours prayer. Non stop. Then he opened his eyes. We were happy. We were rejoicing. But you could see from his expression that he wasn't happy. We served him rice and beans. He looked at it and said, But this is sand. So, Daddy, it's not sand. It's, this is rice and beans. So, I am not going to eat the sand. He left the food. Until that food went very cold. Hours later, we brought a ban soup. He looked at it again. Said, so, This is another sand. So it's food. He didn't eat. But we noticed anytime we step out of his room, he begins to pray. Oh Lord, take me back. Damn it, Badam. Damn it, Badam. Take me back. After a few hours, he was now gone. Finally. 
We prayed, nothing happened. He had seen what was there. He didn't want the rubbish and the nonsense we're all doing here. Because this is a world of vanity. The Bible says, we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain that you will take nothing out of the world. They can't bury your limousines with you. They can't bury your money with you. In fact, people who will share the thing will be people who did not even sweat for what you have when you are gone. <laughs> so the earlier you find God, the better. Find God now. Young man, young woman, find God. The reason we have so many marital problems is because people found husband, they found wife before they found God. But they're supposed to find God first, then the God will find them a wife or a husband. They knew wife before they knew God, they knew husband before they knew God, and that is the beginning of the problem may you have a divine encounter in the name of jesus may the lord visit you 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 in the name Jesus, a sabu for the man. The second point that day is have a fighting spirit. And that many times we are too passive just allow the enemy to do what they want to do so school of success primary one find God primary two have a fighting spirit don't give up those who give up they die in depression and poverty that's why the church should be a house of warfare the church is not a hotel not a recreation center it's a barrack it's soldiers are fighting point three primary three in that school form good habits and become a slave to those habits form good habits and become a slave to those habits why all men are slaves to their habits bad habits is dangerous because it imprisons your future bad habits must be broken it must be destroyed if you must be a winner all the time be a slave to good habits your habit is what you are in the dark when nobody can see you what you are in the dark <laughs> when nobody can see you. that's the habit habits are acts which becomes easy through constant repetition so you must be a slave of good habits 
When we were in school, they used to label some people. They say, this one is an habitual late comer. Habitual late comer. This one eats non stop. So those are habits that must go. Habits that must go. When we went year two in the secondary school, there used to be a boy in our class. We used to envy a lot. Every day he comes with loads and loads of sweets. All kinds of sweets. And as they are teaching us, is eating them. You beg him, he will give you anything. Then, after some time, he was coming with uh, packets of sugar. He will be licking sugar. Sometimes he will soak almost 20 cubes of sugar in a cup of gari. And be eating it. Who were envying him? It's not known that it's a, it's a destructive habit. By the time we get to Afanaya, he had become seriously diabetic. The diabetes, diabetes was a terrible one that he had. He injects himself in class. It eventually killed him. Habits. Some are habitual latecomers. Some are habitual bad temper people. Some are habitual talkative people. Some are habitual fornicators. Bad habits. You must stop it. Your success is your, in your daily habits. Prayerlessness too is a, is a habit that you must stop. One, find God. Two, have a fighting spirit. Three, form good habits become a slave to those habits and the next class four that you must persist until you succeed you must persist until you succeed don't be in the camp of those who just give up quite easily you must persist in Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 Proverbs 24 16 for a just man falleth seven times and rise it up again a just man falleth seven times <laughs> but he will rise again defeat is not when you are knocked down defeat is when you refuse to stand know for sure that you were not delivered into this world to be a defeated person God did not throw you into the world in defeat. Failure does not run in your blood. God has made his children eagles. So you must refuse to talk and sleep with the chicken. You must be an ant that can devour lions never never consider defeat remove from your words things like impossible failure hopeless 
I cannot. I'm incapable. Remove those words from your dictionary. Because the Lord whom you serve has no respect for impossibility. You must avoid going to despair and depression. You must ignore all those obstacles on, at your feet and focus your eyes on your goal at the front. Nothing good comes easy. And if you say a pathway without obstacle is leading you to nowhere, you must realize that if you persist long enough, you will win. Rise to your feet, Nabi. Rise to your feet. And also, if you are here, you are not born again. If not have surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to give you that opportunity again this morning. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? Find a way to this altar very quickly. To come and surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is waiting for you here. So you can be enrolled in the school of success. Jesus keep me near the cross near a precious fountain free to all our healing stream flows from Calvary mountain in the cross in the cross in my glory ever see the altar i congratulate you Just bow down your heads say what i'm going to say after say father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life as from today i say bye bye to the devil i enter into the kingdom of light in jesus name Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their life to Jesus. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. God bless you. See that pastor there. Just follow this pastor for a few minutes. Then you can join us later. God bless you. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is true. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. 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 You are worthy to
of my praises today. You are worthy of my praises today. All eyes closed. Say any power. Abara, Abara. Aiming to spoil this year for me. This is what to call banking prayer, advanced prayer. Can you shout it loud? You are alive. Jesus name we pray say any seed of wickedness planted in my childhood can you say it loud and clear your voice is not loud enough holy ghost fire destroy them in the name of Jesus destroy the seed of wickedness thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray all eyes closed please don't say anything as I enter into intercession for this group of people don't even say amen father I thank you because you can do all things I thank you because your word says every enemy that comes against us shall flee from before our face they come against us in one way they shall flee in seven ways father these eight people here whose names have been taken to evil altars and even as we speak now their names photographs are in the altars of darkness and this is why they have been oppressed Mapata Lika Rido Seteleka those eight people now let your power begin to move upon their lives one by one number one person number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight Just be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus. Father. I'm praying for these 15 people too. Who, who have been having confused and unprogressive dreams and those evil dreams are they are manifesting physically father where they are now begin to lay your hands upon such people and let their deliverance be instant but one but two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen
I decree upon everyone gathered there this morning that the Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus I said Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus a sovereign for the man please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting if you have a first fruit to give the first fruit boxes are there father we thank you for the tithes and the offering let your hand be upon your people for good lay your hands upon our lives prosper your people to a dumbfounding degree in jesus mighty name we pray let's rise to our fifth place father i thank you for your children that you have brought to this service i decree this week that it shall be well with you every good thing you lay your hands upon shall prosper you shall be the victor and never the victim the lord will surprise you with embarrassing miracles and the lord will put you inside the center of the marathon of divine favor i cover you and your family with the blood of jesus the lord blesses you from zion make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. Every request that has been written here, let them become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.